Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to be recording today. As you guys can see, we're starting things off differently, which if you remember the last time I did a video like this, we started it off this way as well. And if the title doesn't give it away, we are doing another, another declutter. I am so excited for this. So I'm starting outside of the my little recording space, beauty space. Um, and then I'll flip the camera around so I can show you what it currently looks like. Forewarning, there's a lot of extra stuff in here right now. I recently redid a couple of rooms in the house here and this has kind of become the storage place. So I'll flip you guys around here in a little bit so you can see what the current space looks like. I'm also just so excited to record here again because I it's been a minute since I recorded here so I'm happy to be doing another video for you guys. So if you guys like makeup related videos, makeup related content, I would love for you guys to like the video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel as well and introduce yourself down below because I love meeting you guys. Um, let's just get into it. I'm gonna turn you guys around here so you guys can see what the space currently looks like. Okay, so as we walk in, as I said, it's a little, there's a lot going on in here right now. I've, I'm kind of just holding on to a bunch of stuff in here. For the most part, I had recently cleaned it up, um, but we've got the recording desk right over there. Um, that's a little like perfume sample wall. I've got a bunch of nail and skincare stuff in the corner. There's the makeup, ooh, makeup, and a bunch of other stuff kind of stored over here. Over in this corner is where we is where our printer is and then also this is where I hold on to makeup that I've already taken out of my collection that I'm looking to get rid of and um I don't know if I've shown it off too much aside from as my background but and then there's also the beautiful color wall that I love I love this little color wall I love this little background if you haven't seen the reel for me putting this together that was so much fun to do um, <laughs> that's not what this video is about, but yeah, here's just the current little tiny little baby update for what the space is looking like. Again, a little bit cluttered, but still does what I need it to do. I'm going to go ahead and get you guys set up here now and we will dive into the makeup. The hair is, oof, the hair is something. I don't even know what to think about the hair. <laughs> We're not going to pay attention to that. Before we actually get into the makeup and the declutter. My hope and my plan for this is to break this declutter down into sections, into categories, multiple videos, and that'll hopefully allow for me to kind of talk through and look at the products a little bit more. So there'll probably be some sped up parts, but I'm hoping that we can slow things down a little bit, take a little bit more time to go through the products and actually get a feel for how we want, or get you know, hopefully get a feel for the, for the products and what we actually think and if it's worth it or not worth it to get rid of it. So I hope you guys are excited for a couple of these videos because I really want to break it down for you guys. All right, now let's get set up to start decluttering. Alrighty, we are all set up. You guys are gonna see the hands today. Um, we are all set up here to start the first section or the first part of this declutter, I decided to start with this bin that has foundations, concealers, and setting sprays. As you can see here, let me try to like show it off here for you. It is quite unorganized. Um, <laughs> I got into a bad habit of after I would use my makeup, I would just kind of plop. Hopefully I can be better about not doing that in the future, but it'll probably still happen. It just naturally happens that if you're in a rush for whatever reason, you kind of just chuck everything in. I don't know if for this first video, if we'll do this entire drawer here, or if we'll just focus on maybe the foundations and concealers or something like that. We'll see as we go how long this takes for us to get through it. But before we even start on any of those, I do need to kind of separate this out by product. So I'm going to speed through that part of just resectioning everything out and then we'll decide from there as to what products we're going to start with. So hang tight with me as I reorganize here.
Okie dokie. Okay, we have this <laughs> somewhat a little more organized, broken down into foundations, concealers, primers, and setting sprays. That way I can kind of go through it just a little bit easier. One thing I had forgotten to mention earlier is with this declutter, I'm really hoping to like definitely downsize a little bit, but specify on holding on to products that could potentially be good for like a makeup kit. Um, just really well used, versatile, is that the right word? I'm not sure, but kind of makeup kit vibe is what I'm going with. I want to really condense down in that way, if that makes any sense. So that's the goal. I don't know how successful we'll be with that, but that's kind of where my mind is for this. So for this first part, I think I want to start by just focusing on the foundations. I've got um, makeup wipes, makeup wipes and like tissues and stuff like off to the side. I'm going to try to be doing a lot of swatches and things like that to try to figure out what products I do really want to keep and the ones that just won't be needed. So this part one, we're going to first focus on foundations and then we'll see as we go from there. So let's start pulling out some foundations. I'm going to first just try to eyeball the products I know I love. And the number one, which is actually an empty here, basically, this is like my go-to foundation. It's the L'Oreal Infallible. Let me try to get this in place here. The L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Freshwear Foundation. I'm holding on to this one as a reminder to get myself one. There's probably, if I scraped in there, enough for maybe two or three more uses, but there's hardly anything left in there. So I want to try and swatch this, try and swatch this. There we go. Just for like a guide for color, for consistency, and just kind of like keep in mind like what I do and don't want to hold on to. So yep, there's the Infallible. I think this shade that I got, it works for me. I had, I had purchased the last time I repurchased this, I purchased two shades and this was actually the darker one and it works for me. It's a little bit more warm and kind of, yeah, a little more warm than the other shade that works for me. This is the 415 and I think 410 is a better option for me. Um, I might have actually ordered it on Ulta and I think it's expected to arrive today. Very excited about that. So I'm gonna hang on to this just for the time being. As a reminder, if I did order it and that comes in today, I will then declutter this one. So behind us here, I've got two of my alley bags. I'm gonna use one for the stuff I'm gonna get rid of and one for the stuff I'm gonna hold on to. So I will have this be my hold on to for now. And then this will be my declutter. The other one that stands out to me as a foundation that I love Let's see here, ooh, ooh, number two. This is like next in line favorite and honestly combined with the L'Oreal Infallible, the two of them mixed together is so good. But this is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. Love this stuff. So I'm gonna try to pump a little bit of this also on my finger. And we'll swatch that. Honestly, they're pretty close. Again, like this one is a little bit lighter in shade, which is a better match for me than this one. Similar kind of like pinky warm tone. I probably need to figure out what my undertone is. I do like how this one, like this one is such a natural, it's a tinted moisturizer in comparison of this one being a foundation and having a little bit more of that coverage look. But yes, I love this stuff. So obviously we are keeping that. Let's see. Mm. I would say the number three that comes to mind for me, and now this is the older formula. I know that they reformulated this, but this is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. They're 24 hour. I so badly want to try the other Catrice newer one and also the new formula of this. This one is a little bit darker on me, but this has such great coverage. It is 
thin. It doesn't feel heavy or anything like that on the skin, so that's why I like it so much. It does get a little bit messy being in a dropper bottle like this. I've had it spill in my makeup bags before when traveling, which is very, very sad. But let's do a swatch of this guy as well. Yeah, <laughs> you can already tell. It is definitely darker than those other two. So I should really look into getting the new formula and getting a shade that's a closer match to me. But I do love this one. I can make it work on days and I'm a little more tan um, or you know I just brightened up with some concealer or even like I was saying holding on to stuff for like a makeup kit purpose um, holding it on holding it on holding on to things like this for people who do have a slightly darker tone than I do again I should get the newer formula of it but oh I love that Catrice one as well so even though it's older I will still use this I am going to keep this Ooh, I know the next one. Oh my goodness. The next one that I'm obviously keeping, this one became a favorite so fast. And I think it's matte, is it a matte coverage? Um, it's the full coverage two-in-one Kiko Milano foundation. It's a foundation and concealer. When I tried this on for my Kiko Milano brand new face video, I like instantly fell in love with this. I think this is also slightly too dark of a shade. We'll see it swatched and see actually how well it is if a shade match for myself but my mind with this one my brain instantly went to this could be so good for a kit and so i hope and i'm i hope that's a good instinct like i was like i want to buy a million shades of this i think again it is more of a matte coverage i love that it's a doe foot i know that in some instances depending on how you use this this is not sanitary unless you were only using it to put it on like a, a palette and then going and applying it onto the face with a different brush. Being that it's currently my own personal use, that's not how I go about it. But if I were to purchase more and if I were to actually go more down the makeup kit route, I would definitely only use them for, use them on a palette. So yep, <laughs> it's, a little more orangey. I'll try to, hopefully you can see these. A little bit more orangey than the other two, so it's not the best shade match for me. It kind of similar looks like that one, but I had stated that was a little warm. This is the best. This is the best current match for me. And so everything else here is just a little too dark. The undertone's just a little off, but you can't even see what I'm doing. The undertone is just a little bit off on that one, but oh my goodness, I love it. I love, love, love this foundation so much. I hope those swatches are somewhat coming through for you. I'll try to give you better swatches here when I can. Yes. So here is L'Oreal Infallible, ColourPop, uh, the ColourPop Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer, uh, the old version of the Catrice HD Full Coverage, and the Kiko Milano 2-in-1. Uh, full coverage foundation. I keep moving my arm. <laughs> you guys can't sure what I'm doing. But yes, keeping that for sure. Now things start to get tricky. I think we just need to start pulling things out at this point. So let's start with this guy back here. I think I'm going to end up holding on to this. This is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. I don't know how it actually compares, but my mind goes to this being similar to the um, ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. Again, I don't actually know how similar they are. I've never put them as, at like a side-by-side -side comparison, but it is like a moisturized makeup. Ooh, it is very thin. <laughs> it also seems to be a little dark, oh gosh. I need to get better at my shade matches. Man, oh man, none of these are even <laughs> significantly close to each other. Ah, I need to get my shades figured out. It's kind of a cooler undertone, I think. That one actually, you can barely even see. It blends into my arm really well. Not sure how well it would blend into my face. Hopefully you guys can somewhat see that. I'm gonna hang on to it. I've liked it the couple times I've used it. Is it a good shade match for me? I have no clue. 
but again, it could be a good potential shade match for somebody else. I will have to put this one to the test more and see if it would be a good kit makeup, a foundation for a makeup kit. So I'll have to test that out. But the couple times I have used it, I have really enjoyed it. Let's do this flower one. So this is the Flower Light Illusions um, Luminizing Makeup. So I think this one has kind of more glowy, luminizy finish to it. I love that this one is in a glass package. It has the pump. I have not used this one very often, to be honest. So I don't know what to think about it. Okay, so that guy right there. Swatch-wise, I think it compares to these first two as a decent shade match, potentially. It definitely feels a little bit more buttery when swatching it, at least. It's hard to tell what the finish is because I'm kind of swatching these thick right now, and as they dry, I'll have to see what that finish is more like. I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile. Yeah, I'm gonna set this aside as a maybe for now and we'll kind of circle back on it to see what we think. So I'm gonna put my maybes right there. Next up, we've got... <laughs> Next up, we've got the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. I've used this one a couple times too. I think I like it. I think it's for, like, it's dewy skin. It definitely, it's a serum foundation. It says there on the bottom. It's, it's a glowy foundation for sure. So depending on your skin tone or your, your skin situation, I guess, it can come off as kind of a little too glowy or maybe a little oily for some people. So, I don't know. Let's see here. We'll try to put a little bit on. Definitely nice and light. For my fair skin tone. Very light. Wow, that actually might be a little too light. Interesting. It's got a little bit of a scent. There's that guy. <laughs> Significantly lighter than all of the other foundations. This will probably end up being a yes. Being that it's a glowy foundation, it's kind of good to have just the glowy one on hand, and I know this one's really nice. I didn't realize it to be that light. It's probably a good shade for me in the winter but um, definitely would need to bronze up a little bit more with that one, I think. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile, but there's a chance it'll end up actually going in the yes pile. Let's do this one right here. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is their dewy version. I have not used this in a long time. I got this one for a brand new face. I, I liked it. And the times I've used it, I have enjoyed it. I'm gonna be honest, I think I need to get rid of this one. I've had it for a long time. I also know, I believe, I could be wrong about this. I feel like there's a product or an ingredient in this that a lot of people's skin reacts to. I don't know, I think I've noticed that. Again, I haven't used it a lot of times. I have noticed my skin breaking out sometimes around the times that I wear this, so I don't know. I could just be overthinking that for sure. But regardless, I've had this one for such a long time, I think it's time to let it go. Plus, I don't reach for it very often because the applicator is very weird. It's this odd little spatula thing. And it also has a little bit of a funky scent, not like a bad scent, but I think it's always kind of had that strange kind of smell. That one is also very light. I didn't put as much on that one as I did with the others. Let me just grab a little more. Okay, so there's that one. Also very light, a little bit more pinky in compared to the one that was right next to it. Yeah, I don't, I think this is the one that the first one I'm actually gonna like declutter. Mostly again, just cause I've had this one for a very, very long time. And I just am not reaching for it, especially in comparison to the ones that I've currently got in my keep pile. So we will be getting rid of that one. Next up, we've got Profusion Cosmetics. Their Feel Good Skin Long Wear Skin Perfector. I, there's a lot from Profusion that I like. Their eyeshadow palette that I got for the brand new face video, I love. And their price point is phenomenal. It's very nice and cheap and affordable. I've used this also a couple of times. There's just so much makeup for me to like shift through. 
that I don't get a whole lot of use out of stuff. Um, I love the tube that it comes in. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's definitely thicker than a couple of the other ones here that I've swatched. Is it glowy? Is it loomy? I don't remember. Hyaluronic acid, medium to full coverage. So moisturize-y. Here's a swatch of that one. I, is there is a potential that's a good shade match for me. I don't know. As you guys can tell, I have no clue. <laughs> um, oh man, I don't know. I think I need to put this one also in the maybe pile. I know this is very difficult. <laughs> I need to circle back on a lot of these, but I'm gonna put that one in the maybe for now. Okie dokie. Up next, we've got NYX. NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is their full coverage matte foundation. This was from a more recent brand new face video that I did. And for it being a matte foundation, I was also very impressed by it. It didn't feel very drying on the face at all. Glass bottle, well, I think it's either glass or a really thick plastic. Pump applicator, we love a pump. The first swatch might have just been a little thick. There might have been a little bit of dried out product right at the front. Alrighty, there's that one. Yeah, <laughs> I remember realizing that I maybe got too light of a shade. I think that is just slightly lighter than that one there, or at least just a different tone. We'll see as it dries if it's, but yeah, that's that's also another light one. I think I am gonna keep this one from remembering how I thought of it from the brand new face video that I did. I was very surprised on how it felt and wore on the skin being that it was matte. It was, it was lightweight, felt like nothing, um, didn't feel, like it was clean to any dry spots or anything like that. So I think something like this can be really good to have on hand. So we will be keeping you. Alrighty, let's go into She Glam. This one is also one that I've had for a while. It's the Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. I haven't been to She Glam in a while. Um, I don't even know, I think they probably still make this. I don't know that it comes in the packaging like this anymore, but it is a very affordable foundation. Pros about this is glass bottle pump. We love that. And let's pump a little bit of this out. It's been a minute. I think I also, unless I finally decluttered it, in the last couple declutters, I had a box of a different shade. I must have decluttered it in the last one, realizing I really did not need to be holding on to that shade. This is very thick feeling, wow. Hmm, here's that one. Pretty close to the, the shade right next to it. Very thick, interesting. I remember being so impressed by this when I got it for the video and from the couple of times I've used it, in comparison just with like the swatches and trying to like think back on like my memories and stuff of using products, I don't think I'm gonna grab for this as often in comparison to the stuff I know that I actually really, really like. So I think it's time to declutter. I've also had it in my collection for a long time, just like the Wet n Wild one. The those videos were recorded pretty close to each other. So that's something I should really try to keep in mind is like, those are some of my first brand new face videos. I should really, really consider if I have it in my collection still, if I like it, I should really just get a new one because some of that stuff's getting pretty old. Um, What are we gonna get into next? Let's do Juvia's. This might actually be the lightest foundation I have. I have a feeling. And I think this one was matte also. Yes, why do I have, I'm not a matte girl. I don't know why I have all these matte foundations. I remember this having insane coverage. It doesn't feel nearly as thick as the She Glam one that we just swatched. If you need coverage, Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation has got it. That is for sure. Um, it's also a very light shade. <laughs> I don't know what my skin shade is. Goodness gracious. Let's put it in the maybe pile for now. I bet every time I've used it, I've been very impressed by it, but it is matte and it is full coverage and we'll have to think about it. We'll come back on it. <laughs> I'm running out of 
room on my arm. I've got enough space for one or two maybe here and I've got three foundations left in the bin. Let's go into this one. Believe Beauty. Also glass or thick, thick plastic and pump. Yes, we always love that. I'll say that about every single product that we have like that. Glass product pump. Love it, love it, love it. This one I've had for a very long time too. This is honestly such a really good foundation for it being so affordable. It's a little warm. That's also kind of thick. Interesting. I think regardless of how I feel about this one, this is one that I've had for a long time. I think it is just time to let it go and I can always repurchase. I don't think that any of this, everything has like a shelf life. Like I think, ah, I think foundations are a year, 12 months if they have the little icon on them. That's kind of like the recommended safety guide as to when your products need to be used up. But I don't think they're like, I don't think any of my stuff is like soiled. Like I keep everything closed and, every, and, and stuff like that. So it's safe to use, but it's coming up on the time of like, you gotta replace it. Just, just, just to be a little more cautious, I guess. Up next, we've got the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. There's a couple different versions of these Fit Me foundations. Matte, I don't, what's wrong with me? Stop getting matte products. This one, this was a sort of recent brand new face video that I did. I used to use the Fit Me foundation all the time. I don't know if it was the matte version, but I'm probably gonna get rid of this one for one, because it's matte. Two is I never reach for it specifically because it does not come with an applicator. Like I'm not gonna dump this. It's just very messy to use. I'm gonna swatch you right here. Like it feels really nice. It feels really thin. I, if I do repurchase this, I'm not gonna get the matte version. I'm gonna look into their other finishes that they have. And I know that you can separately buy pumps for them. So maybe I'll look into doing that as well, but I don't think that'd be anything I do anytime soon. There we go. I don't think that'd be anything I'd do anytime soon. This one is not old by any means. Um, it's just not one I reach for primarily because it is very messy to use. So we will get rid of that one. Okie dokie dokie. Up next we have Revolution Conceal and Define. So this is kind of like a two in one. No, it's just a full coverage foundation. This one comes in a glass package and has a big, big doe foot applicator. Very, very cool. All right, let's see. <laughs> what do we think of this one? Full coverage foundation. I'm gonna put it in the maybe for now. I have clearly, I have no idea. No idea what to think about that one. We will have to circle back on that one very soon. Two more left in the bin here. I'm gonna pull these back so you can see them. These are different. Uh, ooh, let's do this one. This one is very separated, but I think it's just because of the formula of it, but it's Physician's Formula, Butter Believe It, Foundation and Concealer. I don't know that I'd consider this one a concealer. I think it's a little bit more of a sheer coverage if I remember. Glass or thick package, or glass or thick plastic bottle, pump, we love it. This one has that classic Physician's Formula coconutty smell. I've mentioned it before, I am not a fan of the coconut scent, so that is something that bothered me about it, but I believe, if I remember correctly from the foundation, that does kind of go away pretty quick. I think it's time to pass on this one. I feel like it's really not too bad of a foundation, but for the little things of like the scent that I'm just like, I'd prefer it to not be there. The fact that I just, I, I grab for other foundations over it, I think it'd be better better in somebody else's hands. Similar to the Maybelline one here, this one is not necessarily an old product or anything like that one. So um, this would be one for me to just be good to get rid of. These ones in the back here are like, I should just toss. No need to give those to anybody, but like these two can probably go on to new homes. 
And we've got Revlon Color Stay. This is the last foundation. Glass, thick packaging. Pump. We love it. That one had a bit of a thick piece in the front there. Um, you are normal dry makeup. What is your finish? SPF 20, normal dry, wears up to 24. I don't, I don't know your finish. I'll have to dig into that. Let's put this in the maybe pile for a little, little, little bit here. Okay, so before we come back to these guys and try to figure out what we're doing, let's just get up close on these swatches one more time so we can really evaluate them and see how they're looking a little bit more like the dried down. These first five here are the like, yes, those are the ones I have held on to. So that was, well, we're gonna test my memory here, goodness gracious. The L'Oreal Infallible, ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer, Catrice Full Coverage, Kiko Milano, and I believe this was Estee Lauder. And I have already forgotten. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe this won't be as successful as I thought. Well, never mind. I don't remember what any of these are, but here are the swatches again, if that is something that you're interested in. I think it looks really fun and really cool on the arm here. Let's just try to figure out what we think of these. So trying to think through this, I'm going to hold on to the Juvia's Place I Am Magic one. This is a very, very full coverage one. I don't know how often I would use it on myself for like daily use, but uh, just to have a couple more matte options. And I know that this one is a really, really good one. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to that one for the for a matte option. For glowy, more glowy skin, I'm gonna hold on to the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. Um, that one will be really, really nice. I think I'm gonna just bite the bullet. I know I've got the products that I really, really love in here. I told myself I really wanted to condense it down. So I'm holding on to the foundations that I know that I love. Having less of them is gonna help me actually use them and go through them. So I'm gonna, gonna say it and I'm gonna get rid of all four of these guys. So we're gonna pass on the profusion, pass on the flower, this one I was like, oh, should I hold on to it for a little bit more? But I think it is familiar. It, I think it's comparing comparable to the Infallible. And I just know that I like the Infallible more. So I think I, we gotta get rid of her. And we're gonna get rid of this one too. Again, this is one that I, I just don't remember what I think of it. So there we go. We got through the foundations and it feels good to, to let that stuff go and just hold on to the stuff that I'm excited to use and happy to have. So I'm gonna put these back in the bin here. I think that's where we're gonna leave off part one. The first video of this series is just focusing on the foundations, beyond happy with the choices that I've made here, loving the products that I've held onto, cause I know I'm gonna get use out of these in comparison to the ones that I just like, I want to use, but I just keep coming back to these ones. So loving that. I hope you guys enjoyed this first part. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and stay tuned for the next one when we dive into the next thing here, which is gonna be concealers. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.